Welcome back to another edition of the Timmy Show. And today we're gonna do uh, Crimson Vow. And um, this is gonna be uh, my pre release kit that I will make a deck out of to play in the pre release. Inspired idea. Um, please draw three cards. Your maximum hand size is reduced by three for the rest of the game. Wow. I don't know if that's, uh, <laughs> get my packs out, get a little dicey dice. I don't know if you draw three cards. Um, what's the cleave cost? So for four more, remove. Okay, so you can remove it and just draw three cards by paying seven. That's steep, man. That is real steep. Let's see what we have. Red, blue, white. Black, green, black. Kind of go through this quickly. That's a werewolf. That is a double spell. A tree folk do like that. So let's let's do it like that. Red, white, and look at that. What is this? Storm kick. Legendary creature flying enters the battlefield. Interesting. That's pretty cool. So we'll put that in the pile. Well, we normally keep our rares and stuff separate. And we got one of the special lands and two tokens. All right, let's move on to pack number two. <clears throat> so we got an altar card, and our giveaway is is live now. So you guys can. That's pretty cool. The Fang cards. Um, our giveaway is live. Um, we're gonna start adding packs to our giveaway, and this is the one I like. <laughs> The zombie bear with a sword through his head. <laughs> That's a pretty cool card. And uh, we'll be adding a pack. Um, a couple of things per video. So Gordas summoning. Creatures you control get one plus one. A, ooh, with a one plus one counter on them. Have a base power of four four. Have flying and are angels and additional types. Uh, That's a hard card to play with I guess. I don't know how many counters are in this. I haven't really seen. But yeah, comment on the on the videos, um, like and subscribe, and you enter your chance into winning some packs of the new set. And um we'll go from there. Red and we got a mythic Cemetery Gatekeeper, a Vampire First Strike. When it enters the battlefield, exile a card for, from a graveyard. Whenever a player plays a land or casts a spell that shares a creature type with it, it deals two damage to that player. So that's a mythic. So we got mythic number one. We got three packs to go. Blue, white, red. So we're kind of all over there. And we gotta. I, I do like that equipment a little bit. A blue. And we got a black. A dreadfest demon. Or dread feast. Flying at the beginning of your end step. Sacrifice a non demon creature. If you do create a token that's a copy of this. Ooh, this thing is really, really strong. And we got a foil rare, Consuming Tide. They are return a permanent they control. Return on non-land permanents not chosen. Oh, that's that's actually pretty cool. So that's a a foil rare. Two packs to go. I'm in uncharted territory because some of the cards I see, like I'm not big into playing those co color combinations, but. You go where the pack leads you, I guess. 
I typically let the rares kind of leave me, but I don't know why it's got a bunch. Patchwork Crawler. The zombie horror exile target creature card from your graveyard. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. That's all the activated abilities of that one. I've seen cards like that before and they don't typically work out. Work out that way. Or well, I should say. They look really nice, but then they're not. Alright, blue. Green. Black. Green. Green. Red. Griff Reaver. Exploit. That's pretty cool. Alright. Here's all of our landy lands and stuff. Panda would like those planes. They look pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna move those aside. We got one equipment. And our rears, I I don't want to tell you right now. Um I don't like this. That's kind of I'm just gonna put that in out of bounds. I don't I'm not big into that. But I could see me playing the Reaver. Because uh you can play this guy. And, I mean, if you want to maximize out, um, you could probably play, um, I'm not sure, I gotta look at the red, but I mean, you could almost play blue, black, red, if you want to maximize all your all your playables but just on a nutshell like and even your your promo you can play you can play six of your rares in this color combination and uh, i'm not opposed to doing that um i'm not a really blue black player but these things seem really strong so i think I want to try that color combination. Um, so you would get this exploit. Whenever you exploit, create a zombie token. This is actually really good. So it, it goes in that theme of blue-black. And if you played... Yeah, I'm not sold on that card either. So, um, And if you played red, you could play this too. Enters the battlefield, look at the top six cards of your library. You may review a non-creature, non-land card from among them. Put it in your hand and put the rest on the bottom in random order. Um, we'll keep, we'll kind of keep these. I'm not saying these are super strong. Just keeping my options open. And I'm not playing that. I don't think so. I'm going to put these over here in the maybe pile. Um, white, I'll take a look at white. Just look. But I did not see. I guess the training is where you would get your, your counters for the Zagorda. Um, Pearson Light is a really good card. Deals two damage to target attacking a blocking creature. That could come in handy. Artifact and enchantment removal. Um, I don't think white is particularly strong so i'm just gonna put that out of bounds so we're gonna get rid of that um red i'm actually curious about because red had we do have a quite a big pull um two damage so that's actually a really good card I think we got two of these, two of these Lambo Reavers that are two fours. What do they turn into? A four four and deals two damage. So they're actually, they're not that bad, but I'm not big into the, 
This is another, if you're not playing vampires, which is good. Haste. Menace. I mean, I like the look of a lot of these, um, a lot of these red cards. And this is a vehicle. I didn't even know there was vehicles in the set. <laughs> Artifact creature until in the turn. So, wow. So, tap two creatures and make a 5-5 five, five vehicle? That seems strong. So, we're going to put red up there. Um, green is a little bit on the left side of cards. So, basically, I'm going... Looking at the cards that I don't think I'm going to select to play in my deck. And we don't have a lot of green at all. I think less than, I think maybe nine. Nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. So, no, it doesn't particularly feel strong to me in any regard. This card's super good for, you know, just making any color. So I think I'm going to put that out of bounds. I'm not going to run that. So we're going to look at our black and our blue. Which, that's the majority of it. Deals three damage to target human creature. Or you can... So it's removal. That's good. Target creature gets negative 13. This is really, <laughs> really strong. Draw two cards. So black is actually really good. Return target... Persist specimen from your graveyard. So it, it's a recursion effect. Um, enters the battlefield. Make a blood token. Okay. Got another one of these guys. So there's sack abilities in it. We got some pretty good stuff. Discord a cord. Wait. At the beginning of your end step. If you discarded a cord. Transform this dude. That's actually... Pretty good if you can discord a card. Exile. Target zombie. Target. Okay. Flying. If it's a vampire. Otherwise it gets nicked. So that's removal. Okay. So let's get. I want to put our removal up here. Because we got, we got two of these grasps. We got a fang. And we got a... Um, that. So we got some removal. Zombie exiling, so that's good. We got another draw card. Make a blood token. We got another. And we got another one of these things. So we got plenty of removal and black. Okay, so discard, so right off the bat. gonna have kind of an outlet so we can discord a card and draw a card and we can discord the specimens and we could get them back so that guy's super strong I like that we have flying and this has a lot of draw return target creature What's this do? Scry to whenever like whenever you sacrifice who may return it to the battlefield transform. It becomes a four four. Sacrifice two islands and can't be blocked this turn. Um I don't know if we have any sac effects. I didn't see any. So yes. Yes. Exploit. Yeah, so I'm liking the exploit stuff as an additional call. Exile target creature from your library. Get to draw a card, and it's a it's a one mana three three. Man, I'm liking that too. So we got two of those. So I think, man, wow. Enchant creature you control enters the battlefield, gains hexproof until end of turn. Enchanted creature gets one plus one. So they brought these back. I'm uh so I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna play red. I'm just gonna play blue black. 
and uh, that's where we're going to go. And we're going to play the removal. And uh, I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. And this is going to be my final iteration of the deck. Um, I'm going to be playing today in the pre-release. Um, I'm using five of my rares. And um, this draws cards. Um, this exploits, which my deck likes to do. Um, and exploiting doesn't really work with the demon, but it works on its own for different things we got in the deck for recursion wise um so we're gonna play that we're gonna play the consuming tide and of course we're gonna play our legendary vampire creature and um so we're gonna play those the one rare that did not make it in our deck was the uh patchwork crawler um it just did not we don't have a lot of activate abilities that we want to use so we're gonna move that our one drops um, we got two gifts of fangs, which we could put on our own vampires, which I think we got a, just a few of, but basically a removal or downgrade of their creatures. Um, our Grish Kratz theme is um, the persistent, uh, ooh, persistent skeleton or whatever it is, specimen. So I can't even pronounce it today. So those, those two skeletons go great with our uh, entombers. To draw his cards and it's one and two mana so it actually works out pretty well um anytime we exploit we make a zombie we got a few exploit triggers in here so it'll be interesting for that and then um like we can um discard on our on our earlier combo that i showed you the one and two drops and we could transform this pretty easily and then we got two of the um grasps that is uh removal of course it can target humans or if we cleave it so for five mana instant you can try to kill something so that's in there um we were going to run two of these but um with our deck generating a lot of draw anyways i, I limited it to one so we're going to use one and uh this is going to be sacrifice fodder to the demon so we can try to sacrifice this and then return it on its other side that's pretty neat um we've got a, a few more exploit triggers um a flyer to get in there a couple of death touch bears to exile some of their stuff and a another removal spell for um for our deck and we're gonna round it off with two um uh, cards. This is more of a game ender um, than um, this guy is, but it's this has got the exploit trigger, and we can do some shenanigans. So that's going to be our 24, and I'll show you what we kind of did not put in. And I could be wrong, and you can guys leave a comment in there, but I did not think this worked in our deck. Um, point of discussion, we, we got enough draw on our deck that I don't think a second copy of this makes it. I had a real big time on these because these are actually um, flyers and you can get um, more draw but it causes you to exile creatures from your your own graveyard which I don't know in this particular case I want to do any of that so you're paying five mana and exiling two of your creatures that you might be able to recur to draw a card I just didn't I didn't find that was good and this card really wanted to play it um, but once again, kind of in the, the same light as this card, you're exiling a card um, to play this. And I don't know if I want, it's a one drop, so you're not going to play this on turn one anyways, unless you got like a uh, Evolving Wilds or something that we don't have. Um, and it's a creature card anyways, so I don't think I want to exile one of my things that want to come back. So I'm just, you know, um, of course, I don't like cards like this. So, giving something 5-5 five, five and whatever. And same with this. I don't like enchantments. Um, this card was intriguing because I, I do like the, the blood mechanic. But being a 1-4 for 3, I didn't like that at all. 
Um, exile a zombie. That's if you're playing against zombies. So this is situational sideboard at most. So no to that. And this is actually, um, I don't know. This this should probably be in a deck. Um, but I want to try the other things. And um, counter creature spell. This is another card. Um, I, I probably will sideboard in um this might be needed to be in the main deck but i just want to run it the way it is removal in that so um those are cards all these are sideboard cards anyways but this is a this is going to be our deck so um we're going to go like this and hopefully we can do good things if not we're on to the next uh next pre-release so this is it and all right guys Take care, and uh, as always, um, uh, hit like and subscribe, and we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and add two packs to the giveaway. So this is going to be this is going to go in the prize pool. So two packs in, and um, all right, guys. That's going to be it for now. Ta-ta.